Hi everyone. Uh, so we uh, we want to ensure that uh, we complete the entire funnel, right? Uh, targeting the right customer at the right time that AI takes care of uh, with the right message. Again, AI takes care of what is the right channel and what are the innovative channels that you can actually use now. So Saurabh sort of defined it pretty well uh, or introduced us pretty well uh, and the topic as well. So uh, we're going to talk about WhatsApp uh, and who better to hear it from the horse's mouth, right? Uh, we have Pratik from um, Meta team and uh, Shankar from Gapshap. So Gapshap is, of course, our extended family uh, of Moengage, and uh, you know would like to in yeah uh, introduce and welcome them on the stage. Uh, Michael, would love uh, for you also to come on the stage and share your thoughts again. Just, just to start on a lighter, lighter note, uh, I have a secret counter. I think we've mentioned AI 25,000 times till now, uh, collectively. <laughs> all right, so uh, we all know Michael. Uh, maybe if I can request uh, Pratik and Shankar to introduce yourself and then we can take, uh, we can start with the questions. Hi, um, I am Pratik. Uh, I'm based out of Singapore. I work with Meta. My core job is to focus on um, working with strategic partners in the APAC region. And when I say APAC, I mean everywhere in Asia Pacific, minus India, because for us, India is its own region for the sheer size that it is. Um, and uh, I work very closely with partners like Gupshop in the region, uh, which we'll talk about more uh, subsequently, but I'll pass it on to Shankar. Hey, hi, my name is Shankar. I hit APAC for Gupshop. Um, not sure how many people know about Gupshop. Um, maybe I'll share more as we go along. Um, thanks, Michael, for joining us. Um, because you, I was thinking that we don't need our session because you already pitched for WhatsApp and what we do. But thanks for joining us. Thanks, Michael. I think most of us know you now. So uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll cut that out. Uh, so I think everybody's heard WhatsApp for business or business messaging, right? Uh, so I want to start uh, with the core or base, basic question uh, to Pratik. Uh, what is uh, business messaging and why is it gaining so much importance and relevance in today's uh, di digital ecosystem or landscape? Sure. A um, couple of things first. Uh, let's talk about, we don't need to talk about what WhatsApp is, um, especially in uh, Malaysia. Uh, we all know WhatsApp does about 2 billion daily active users. This is a number from 2023. I think the numbers have gone up since, uh, but that's one number that is there, which means almost 25% of the world uses WhatsApp on a daily basis. And I feel extremely proud working for a product like that. Um, talking about uh, business messaging, before that, if I paint a picture of Malaysia for you quickly, that might help a little. Uh, Malaysia happens to be one of our highest WhatsApp penetrated markets in the world, with about high 80% of the population of entire demographic using WhatsApp which is quite phenomenal and that makes WhatsApp a very important market for Meta also. Um, these are numbers available online, you can easily have a look at them, publicly available. The, the cool thing about business messaging is, as uh, Michael has already done the job, I don't think this session is necessary, um, uh, is that businesses want to talk to consumers and the consumers want to talk to businesses, but they want to do that at the time that they prefer, at the channel that they want, and the and whenever they want to do it. That cannot be done when you are doing it in a call center. How many of you have been on an IVR for an hour and still not being able to figure out how to change your flight seat? Show of hands would probably help. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I could see one there, but I know there are many. Um, so that's one. The other thing is business messaging is something which is allowing people to uh, get things done faster. There's a lot of real business revenue value that's getting exchanged right now through business messaging. I'll give you a couple of stats that might help you see how valuable uh, a business messaging is in the region and which would probably answer your question, Ritesh, as well. Uh, business messaging, about 93% of we did a survey and found out that 93% of, of all the people that we talked to said that we would want to use a messaging app to reach out to a business if we had to, and this is from consumers. And we talked to businesses 
and businesses said that they would want to talk to 100% of their customers on on a uh, chat app. I think Lakshmi was talking about it. Uh, sorry, Manisha was talking about in her previous session and how chat bots are extremely important. That's just one example of that. So businesses want to talk to consumers on business messaging and uh, consumers also want to talk to their businesses or whoever they want to use as a service or a product on business messaging. And this is a growing trend which we are seeing. In fact, uh, I was talking to Birud, who is uh, the CEO of Gupshop. And one stat that he told me was, and it's quite surprising, said that there are a couple of companies, and I'm not kidding, he told me this. There are a couple of companies in India that had a full set website. And since they started using WhatsApp, they have stopped their websites. All they now want to do to run, and these are not small time uh, businesses. These are businesses with millions of dollars of revenue who have moved entirely on WhatsApp and now saying that we want to remain staying here. We don't have costs on maintaining a website, keeping it updated at the all times, paying for the servers, WhatsApp does it. So these are some phenomenal stories that you get and then you find that business messaging is working. But those are some stats that I wanted to share. Uh, just a follow up quick question uh, for uh, the folks here. So how is Meta looking at supporting and promoting the business messaging uh, bit in the Malaysian market? Uh, like if you look at specifically for the Malaysian market. Right. Like I said, uh, WhatsApp is something that Malaysia uses a lot. We see that there's a clear value that we're getting. In fact, majority of the brands that you've heard from today, uh, throughout the day, they all use WhatsApp in some shape or form right now for the businesses too. If there are any business owners right now or marketers in this room, uh, what you could do and what, what, what Meta is doing is uh, focus on uh, providing more partners in the region. I think we are building the ecosystem. Gupshop happens to be one of them. We've got others I'll not name right now. Um, but uh, we're building the ecosystem of partners so that whenever you need any solutions, these partners can come and help you. That's one part that we're doing. The second thing that we're doing is we're also working on educating the market as well on why WhatsApp can help. For example, Malaysia is a very heavy financial sector country where you see a lot of businesses into the fintech space. Uh, we talked about it and uh, my dear friend from Boost just walked in uh, uh, as well, right? So fintech is becoming very important and because it's a very regulated space, we are also working on educating the market in terms of what is possible on WhatsApp. Did you guys know that your businesses can send OTPs on WhatsApp? Authentication messages on WhatsApp? Yeah, right. Few heads nodding. I think that's that's something which is there. Did you know that you could send transactional utility messages on WhatsApp to your consumers instead of sending them postal messages? Like the utility company that I use back in Singapore sends me a proper letter every 15 days. And that might cost at least a dollar. A WhatsApp message with a PDF probably would have costed a few cents, right? So that's another thing. Uh, so those are the things that we are doing in Malaysia, educating the market, building the ecosystem with the partners and also our local teams, which are, I was in the office today um, with, with our local colleagues here in KL and they are extremely excited and almost everyone that they're talking to now is talking about how can we use WhatsApp to build more and we'll talk subsequently in the, in the, in the discussion further because uh, just like the last session, we also got the questions yesterday. So yeah, uh, that, that's probably the thing. Only, only a few. <laughs> so uh, over to you, Shankar. Like, uh, just want to, if you can quickly tell us uh, what Gupshap does, firstly. Um, I, I'm sure 95% people know uh, what they do. And also, how is Gupshap helping the local businesses in Malaysia scale uh, business messaging efforts uh, for themselves? So Gupshap just started, uh, we just just walking right now in Malaysia. That's what the example which somebody quoted about walk, crawl, run. Um, so Gupshop is a, you know, the word Gupshop means uh, having chit chat, you know. Um, so effectively, the way Gupshop sees it is uh, um, the whole world, we are transforming into a conversational. So we have a conversational cloud which looks across uh, 360 degrees of a customer journey, right? And uh, WhatsApp being the core uh, of every communication which is happening in this part of the world. Um, we have 45,000 customers all over the world and one of the biggest uh, provider for banking and financial services on WhatsApp is done by Gupshop globally. 
um, we have uh, presence uh, up in Brazil, uh, Africa, uh, Middle East, India is one of the biggest market, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, and any China outward, right? So some of the examples which, uh, uh, which Pratik shared, uh, most of the uh, examples are live with us, with customers, right? Especially in banking, we are doing amazing stuff in banking. Um, some the customers he was mentioning where they don't have a website. Um, yes, um, uh, our clients are using WhatsApp because they can quickly turn around. They can have campaigns now with new feature sets. They they can practically have a catalog, make purchases. Um, simple example for BFSI space is uh, you can send an invoice on a PDF with a, a pay now button and you just click on and pay reminders. For, for Michael, uh, we have several car companies in India which basically sends, uh, you know, booking of your, uh, uh, you know, um, self-drive, test drive, payments, reminders, loans. Um, so Gupshops covers the entire spectrum of use case which you can think of. And we break it down uh, similarly what a lady from Atom said, pre-purchase, purchase, and post-purchase. And we covered pre-purchase and onboarding is one of the biggest success story with WhatsApp, right? Uh, and getting them across the board. And uh, I think that's some of the use cases. I will elaborate more and more. And um, I mean, we asked Michael to join in because I would also like to uh, get his viewpoint from, on, from Malaysia. We are in the walk stage. Um, we already have a few customers here. Zenium is one of them. Renborn is one of them. We are uh, closing a few more. A great partnership with uh, MoEngage. And I mean, if you're a MoEngage customer, you just have to add a sign on with us, and boom, you're already up and running. All your campaigns can go on to uh, onto WhatsApp. So, and we, our team will share with you the uh, use cases which will blow your mind, the kind of use cases we do, the kind of volume we do. What I mean is we do about 10 billion messages a month. So that's the kind of scale we do. Um, I'll share more examples on that, but yeah. Um, I think uh, just going a little off topic, uh, I know uh, Shankar, you've built a lot of uh, startups in the AI space uh, for BFSI. So you want to just uh, mention quickly uh, something about it? Yeah, um, by virtue of my acquisition, I used to run a conversational AI company um, called Active AI prior to, and Gupshop acquired my company a couple of years ago. And uh, prior to that, I had a payment startup company, which uh, in, um, in Malaysia, if you, if you are using FPX, and especially if you are from a financial services place, the under, underlying platform of FPX was built by my, my company called Cash. Uh, which was pretty early, early days. Um, so yeah, um, and the AI company essentially, we uh, every bank uh, AI stack uh, in the last five years as, uh, in markets like India. In fact, CIMB was a customer previously of ours. The bot framework was all run on our platform. Yeah, but today of course we are doing a lot of LLM based stuff, Gen AI and all the banking services are provided using Gupshup's uh, LLM models, which we have built up. So yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's a quick <laughs> Thank <you. laughs> anecdote. Thank you so much. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll go to Michael uh, next, right? The user, man. <laughs> <laughs> so Michael, my, my question is, uh, there are a lot of folks uh, who are not on WhatsApp for business, right? Uh, they are just beginning their uh, conversational commerce journey. So how do they start, right? How do they start incorporating and how did you uh, start at Carsim or you know, in, your, in your previous experience also? And uh, Adon, how can I help you <laughs> make it happen? I think um, I will answer this in a slightly different way than you're expecting. Um, not an ad, hashtag not an ad. Yeah, not an ad. So one thing I find very interesting, I'm still learning about WhatsApp. Um, they have a lot of features uh, and you know just keeping in mind the parent company Meta is a very mature company with a lot of engineers a lot of knowledge uh, building products and services so what they've done with WhatsApp for business specifically is they limit they artificially limit what you can do in order so that you don't have to think about it right so I'll give an example the 24 hour response rule where if you send a marketing message, you only pay for that message and any further engagements within 24 hours is paid for. 
So what that forces you to do as a company or you know someone who's providing a service is you need to deliver as much value within the 24 hours. So it kind of forces you to become more efficient. I'm sorry. Absolutely right. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Yep. And in fact, you uh, the customer experience and engagement design can step in yep. and create more engaging value with that same customer. Yep. So in terms of answering your question, uh, Ritesh, is I think when you first get started, um, if you already have a business up and running, you would already have a good idea of what you want to push and when and how, right? Let's say if your product or service is very visually driven, um, you know, you'd take a look at what kind of templates you know, and uh, message types WhatsApp can provide. Uh, in terms of cataloging, I believe you're limited to 10%, which already limits you if you have like a billion SKUs. That's already kind of a signal to you that, hey, hang on. Uh, you, yeah. you should come to Gupshap. I should. Un okay. Yeah, we have unlimited. Uh, oh yeah, SKUs. but it's like, it's like ten. It's like ten per message, right? Uh, no, it's, it's more displayed. than thirty. Oh, per message. Oh, interesting. Okay, I am outdated, right? So I think the point here is, there's artificial limitations, of course, to prevent you from pushing like a thousand rows of information on. Yeah, that's right. I think right. that's behavior pattern, right? So right. You, you, as a screen, you don't want to see everything. Exactly. You so be that very focused on yeah. the product. That's thought of for you. That's I think that's the key point here, right? So, in a way, when you start off with WhatsApp, that whole like look and feel, the kind of decision making you'd have to do, like let's say you have a product listing page, um, and you know you are de debating, you know, when you have a website on how many products you should show, whether it be like a three by four grid with you know lazy loading or a load more button. This is all, you know, it's not a decision you have to make on WhatsApp. Right, so the decision now becomes more immediate. Right, like what are the products that drive the results, and what are the products that will drive results in 24 hours? Because I don't want to pay better again, right? And and it is very targeted. It's personalized because you have the mobile number, you have the customer, um, with, and you'll be able to target those products. So the 10 product goes to Michael, and another 10 product comes to me because I may be looking at different products. So. I think that'll be the answer. Uh, yeah. Uh, can I just do one quick thing for Michael's benefit and probably anybody else who's listening with, who finds it exciting. He said 24 hours of free messages after the first message. If you're using click to WhatsApp, you get a 72 hour free window. So you now you have three days to monetize that, which we can probably talk about later on, or we, I'll touch upon that during the session, but yeah. Excellent. I didn't know that. That's, yeah, sure. that's yeah. genuinely new. So you pay even less to Meta now. So that's a good segue. Actually, um, we we have several customers in, in APAC, and I'll just take a couple of examples from Indonesia. Uh, Tokopedia or GoTo is our customer, and um, uh, they're a the large customer. And uh, they tried click to WhatsApp as a campaign. So they ran a campaign. The throughput ratio was phenomenal. You know, you, you I think they 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 had about. 20% uh, conversion rate. Um, I, I, it's not an accurate number, but I will share with you in a later date. But click to WhatsApp has a huge success rate in terms of very targeted uh, pinpoint ads and 72 hours of engaging with the customer. The beauty of say, click to WhatsApp is you're going to get the mobile number. So you'll be able to engage with the customer you have already have. So for the future, you can engage in design campaigns for that. Thanks. Uh, Michael, you got your ROI already for being on stage. Uh, so 24 to 72, so you have 3x ROI already. Can I send you the <laughs> contract? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so thanks, uh, Shankar. I mean, it's a good segue to my next question, uh, right? Uh, so uh, just, just for your information, right, we have uh, folks from uh, e-commerce, telecom, uh, BFSI space, uh, right? So maybe if you can uh, give a few examples right uh, of uh, what are the top use cases uh, that business for whatsapp is being used for and what has worked beautifully uh, for some of the customers and also uh, if you want to take uh, some case studies as to you know which which specific customer has done well that'll be great yeah uh, i'll quickly wrap this up because here's the thing let's understand take a step back instead of saying what works for a customer, 
let's understand what channels do you have currently whether you're an e-commerce company or a bfsi or a fintech or a payment wallet or an airline or a bank what channels do you currently have to work with your customers you've got emails you've got in-app notifications you've got sms you've got phone calls and in if if you're a utility company out of singapore you've got snail mail as well right comes to the letterbox which is quite fun old school uh now look at the roi on each of these compare that to whatsapp i'll give you some examples and market is probably would agree with me more on a really good day when the sun comes from the right direction and the angle and you get out of the bed from the right side and you're doing really well and you're just in a happy mood what is the open rate of your best email marketing campaign the best email marketing campaign a show of hands will do 50 right on a best possible day typically this average is about 13 to 18% and i can tell you with some authority because i used to sell email marketing for a living some years ago in my long long ago life now let's compare that to whatsapp what are the typical open rates that you see or oh, sorry read rates that you see on whatsapp when you send a message out typically in some cases that we've done studies there are about 93% to 98% which means if your average was about 15% your roi from that same message on whatsapp as a channel compared to emails is now 6 and a half x right now that's powerful and that's what you could use to see how we can have so this is one example of what businesses can do the use cases i've already talked about like utility is one which is the transactional messages whenever the business connects with your business whenever a consumer connects with your business you can send out that transactional message it could be a bill it could be a pdf it could be a reminder it could be a pnr it could be anything right second is you can use that for marketing notifications replacing your other marketing notifications if you wanted to uh you could also use it for otps for authentication transactions so whatever you'd like we are doing couple of integrations with some um, payment wallets in indonesia where dominos uses us to get an order delivery and all of that happens on a whatsapp which is pretty cool um and uh, so that's the other one and then of course you can have customer support um and loyalty as well coming through as well uh so these are a few use cases that are there some case studies that we talk about there are many um i wish i could have shown you those on on the slides here but there's some phenomenal customers that we are working with right now in almost every sector that you talked about and the case studies are one available on our website and i don't want to be a snob in saying go to my website what i will do is i will send the case study deck to ritesh and then it's a publicly available deck you can choose to use the pdf or the deck to see what are the real results that are there but think of any big customer of any vertical they are working with us and they have a pretty important case study that they've done with us as well so Yeah, maybe I'll add. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the customers uh, uh, driven uh, Gupshap has a lot of customer base. The, so let, I'll start with uh, BFSI. Uh, a lot of the banks, which are our customers, I think we've got a uh, huge number of banks as our customers. And from uh, bill payments, uh, balance inquiry, to almost all 160 use cases of banking services are live in WhatsApp. market like india eh? and uh, credit card onboarding right and uh, buy now plate pay later a lot of buy now pay later functions are and onboarding functions are already on whatsapp with cars uh, buying cars is happening on whatsapp in in um, the markets like india right and gaming company you know there there's a very large gaming company which is uh, right now there's an ipl match which is the largest cricket match which is happening um and uh, we we send huge, huge amount i think from over 50 million messages a day for um gaming companies right so this is a few pharmaceutical some of the pharmaceutical companies now since uh, whatsapp opened up allowing us to pharmaceutical companies to work with us um, on whatsapp so we are seeing an entire spectrum of use cases which are coming on to the market and we're building a lot of those use cases on that i mean zenium is a perfect example right you buying the uh, we're just starting with them right commerce use cases are very many uh, and um, in especially in markets like india they are using it for credit card payments and, um, and that's on whatsapp 
you're seeing a, I mean, you send a, instead of sending a bill, you're sending a WhatsApp, the, uh, the payment happens in almost instantly, right? Uh, the reminders goes in uh, the, the, the insurance companies, you know, the insurance companies, the FMCG, FMCG. And CTWA, I think, is one of the examples here of um, uh, fashion industry. We're doing so many things on the fashion industry. So I think uh, if you look at it, uh, WhatsApp is like the new, the conversation is like the new internet, right? Everything is happening on that. The beauty is you don't have to build anything. You build your campaign, build your workflow, and up, you can be up and running in the next day and take out the campaign and have a new campaign. And now, of course, with AI also uh, adding in, now you can have a conversation on WhatsApp and then you're providing those functionalities as well. <laughs> Maybe if I'm allowed to add uh, one more example, right? Uh, I'm just staying across the road, uh, the hotel, and uh, they've done away with the, with the landline or the phone that you have in the room uh, to call room service. They just initiate, uh, implemented the WhatsApp for business. And uh, they like, if you want to clean the room, uh, if you want to order something, uh, just message on WhatsApp. So uh, one more great use case. Uh, so this uh, question, Pratik and Shankar, is from both Michael and me, uh, right? Uh, we understand that, you know, WhatsApp for business is here to stay. It's scaling. It's doing very well. Uh, but what's, what's the next big thing in advertising, right? Uh, like how business uh, messaging can help generate better click rates so that the engagement improves. Yeah. To this one. Okay. Uh, I will act surprised as if I did not know this question was coming. Oh my God. I'll have to prepare for this one. Pretty easy. Uh, so here's the next the, thing. The voice was active to passive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good actor. Um, so, a couple of things, very important. Your businesses, you are the businesses, right? When I'm talking about, and Shankar is talking, and then Michael is talking about WhatsApp, what are we doing? What's that common theme? The common theme is you have a customer, and you're talking to them about marketing, OTP, utility, whatever you want to do with them, right? That's when you have the customer. Now, what's the next big thing, as you said? The next big thing is you could do acquisition on the same channel, which is Meta. I'll give you a very simple example. You could probably see the screenshots at the back as well. Um, you could do discovery here, which is acquisition. So think about it, whatever business you have, you want to acquire a new customer, you could run an ad on um, meta properties like Instagram, Facebook, and then a user would click on that ad. And instead of opening a web page, a WhatsApp window will open or a WhatsApp app will open. And you can directly chat with the business for whatever that thing was that you were trying to get from that business, service, product, anything else. Uh, the good part is that one ad would actually serve you directly because as a business one, you'll be able to get, as Shankar said, the phone number. So you have the user one. Second, you've opened up a new channel with them. The good part, like I said, Michael was when somebody clicks on that ad for 72 hours, you don't get charged for anything that you talk to them about, right? Whether it's a utility message, a marketing notification or whatever. So that's other value that you get. After that is done, the discovery is done. And I'll give you an example of myself. I was trying to look for avocado pajamas for myself, for a pajama party, I couldn't get them. So when I got them, I clicked on the ad and I got it. And then I was checking with them on what the size is. So the whole process of me buying those pajamas became important because I was trying to get into the sale. So the business was trying to one, find me through WhatsApp, uh, through the Facebook ads. After that, they were trying to nudge me towards transaction. Then I, of course, received sizes and whatever. I said, yeah, this is the one, this is my address. They sent me a payment link because we do not have native payments right now with WhatsApp. Uh, I was able to make the payment. I received a notification about the receipt of the payment and how many days can I expect the product to come in. And then after that, that brand, it's a local brand out of Singapore. That brand has started using that same WhatsApp channel to do loyalty with me where they say, okay, fine, we've got these new products. You were a previous customer. We'll give you 10% discount on the next product. And then if I have a problem, I could just message them on that same chat window and then ask them, you know, take a return or do something. I don't have to call somebody or send an email to anybody. So this is the big thing that's happening, which is you not only just talk to a customer that's already been acquired, but you also use Meta ecosystem to acquire new customers as well and then keep 
using WhatsApp for the entire journey that you have. And in that journey, you could take them back to your website, you could take them back to your app, you could take them back to whichever property you would like them to go to. So that's, that's one big thing that's happening. And to give you an idea, this is one of the fastest growing ways in which ads are being served to the customers right now on our ecosystem. So very, very important uh, channel for us as well. And the businesses are loving it. Thanks. Uh, so we are almost out of time. Uh, Shankar, if you have some closing comments, yeah, I mean, I think the advertising industry and the brands are uh, really looking and directly reaching the customers. The number plays a very important role, right? So if you, if you the, the moment you have the number, the amount of engagement you can design to reach out to the customer for your brand and for your product, it just opens up, right? It's a, um, whenever I meet a customer or a client, uh, I always tell them that I'm a WhatsApp away. I would say, imagine a brand telling their customer that they are WhatsApp away. That's how I will sum it. So a brand is telling that you're WhatsApp away. And in the past, um, I mean, all the brands did not, I mean, unless you have the database, you did not know who your end customer was. If you buy a uh, toothpaste in, in, a, in, a, in a grocery store, they don't know who the end customer is using that, right? Today, you have the ability to connect with that brand directly. Just imagine I'm a WhatsApp away, a brand telling that I'm a WhatsApp away, how powerful it is. So I believe that the next stage of engagement by the brand directly happening with a WhatsApp individually and how personalized it can be, that's, a, that's where more engage and all the other platforms, all the data comes in, is gonna be very, very powerful. Right? It's, uh, somebody was talking about dating, dating app uh, as an example, right? It's, Imagine the brand is dating the customer directly. You know. uh, so, so the companies uh, which are going to help the customers burn lesser calories are going to win. And this is, uh, these are a few ways to, to ensure that the customers burn lesser calories. And then sell more sweets. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, uh, guys, for uh, this insightful session. We really appreciate it. Can, and I, can I ask a question, Ro please, Mike? Please, please. <laughs> uh, Michael is all for us. <laughs> How would you use WhatsApp for your business? I think, I think there's a lot of ways to go about it. Um, we do use it currently. Um, currently, the implementation is very basic. However, I mean, the future is quite bright with it. Um, I do like, again, the features I mentioned, where it kind of forces you to condense all your goods and services down into the key points, right? And you can cut down on time to browse, time to buy, all these metrics by having it where the customers want to engage with. Um, I think my primary goal with WhatsApp is just to fill in the, a principle of CRM is not what you do to the customers, right? It's not about what emails you send. It's not about what you show on the site. It's more about what you do for them. I think if you, as long as you align on this, you know, your engagement rates are going to be high. Your conversion rates are going to make sense. Your A-B tests are going to be clear cut, right? So I think being where your customers want to communicate with you, I think that just, I mean, it's, it's like a binary, you know, it's a binary thing. You know what I mean? There's no range there. It's either you're there or you're not there, right? And you don't have to install an app. People don't want more apps. I don't want more apps. I don't want more push notifications. I don't mind WhatsApps, right? Especially if I gave consent. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you very much. No, you didn't ask me for a closing comment, but I want to thank, uh, <laughs> want to thank Michael. I think there's no better testament of a good product when a customer agrees to come on stage impromptu. Thank you, Michael. Really helpful. Not an ad. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Thanks. I'm, I'm just a WhatsApp away. My team is just a WhatsApp away. We'll solve all your problems. Thanks, Shankar. Thanks, Pratik. Uh, thanks, Michael, especially for staying back. Uh, over to you, Saurabh.